Dear judges, welcome to your presentation on Rainbow River Trash Digging Robots. We are from Taekwa Math and Science Class. As you ever pass the river in Hanoi, you can see alarming waves of plastic things in Hanoi River and workers struggling to collect them on small boats. But collecting trash in the middle of the river can be inefficient and dangerous for workers. So we want to replace uh, human labor by robotic ships. There have been many current um, inventions like the rubbish charge in India, but it was expensive. Is um, operating and manufacturing costs are quite expensive. It also bulky, so you cannot carry it around and unpractical in real life. So our goal is to aim to make a robot that can run on water, but economical, or remotely controlled via Wi-Fi, and also light and portable and efficient for the now. Well, we use the following methods in this project. Next, we will come to the design of the robot. It comprises three main parts. The body, including two floats and just for skin, with the central continuing unit, engine, and propellers. Uh, the, the first part is body. Uh, we base our design on SMS principle. Two floats, the boom C-force, need to be exited total weight. We estimated that the ship must occupy at least 1.9 liters of water. For the material, we choose to use the cheap, widely available PVC pipe, 2 CP uh, millimeters in diameter PVC pipe adjoined using Formex plastic. We calculated that each pipe needs to be more than 40 meters long. The chest basket, when the chest comes in, is covered in steel mesh and coated in plastic to prevent toxication. Next, in designing control and central controlling unit, we plan the procedures as follows. When we press the buttons on the app, it will send signals to Wi-Fi controlling units uh, and sends commands to motor to run accordingly. The system of power are powered by 12 volt rechargeable batteries. We choose the motors uh, based on the mass of the boat and compatibilities with the Wi-Fi controlling unit. We pick up a motor with a 12 volt DC and max speeds of 200 revolutions per minute. The propellers are made of ABS plastics comprised of three blades uh, to avoid waters. The motor are uh, fastened in and loop with waterproof oil. The next section is installation. Basically, the robot consists of two PVC posts on the two sides, a format sheet, a PVC engine cover, and a PVC frame. Parts are connected with hot glue, plastic ties are connected to the metal mesh, and the floats are fastened by zip ties. Note that the propeller needs to be under the floats as well as fully submerged so it could be able to redirect the water. So we use four buttons to control the movement of the robot to go to move forward to pull the wood spin and push the water backward and the boat forward to move backward to pull the wood spin in in the opposite way and push the water forward to turn right the right one will stop and the left one will continue to spin and to turn left the left one will spin and to Turn left, the left one will stop and the right one will continue to spin. Since we use the controlling system via Wi-Fi server, so there will be no distance limit. Our robots have been able to achieve these things on real life testing. It can float on water, it can achieve a speed of 20 meters per minute. It has no distance limit from shore and can store up to 5 to 30 kilograms of waste per run. And they also we have been able to achieve many sustainable development goals set by the United Nations. It will help us with good health and well-being, clean water and sanitation, decent work and economical growth, sustainable cities and communities, and it will help to improve life below water. Well, on reflection, these are the pros and cons of our robots. It is lightweight, only 2.2 kilograms, to make it easy to transport on bikes. It is cheap, use only common materials that you could find, easy to manufacture and assemble, and also easy to operate. The disadvantage is it's not suitable for heavier weight.
On conclusion, the outward data achieves the outer objectives. Students have learned these skills like working in groups, researching, acquiring knowledge from professionals, and these are some future development directions. The engine can be upgraded in terms of size and power. The system can be equipped with solar panels to directly and automatically recharge by operating. Thank you for listening. This is the end of our.